Ladies and gentlemen and everybody else, today I present to you a magic cycle. From weird round cloning hanger to necklace in just five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Do something easy, easy, breezy. It's gonna be with uh, this jacket. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a little decorative touch. I'm gonna give no sew options. So, if you can't sew, you can still do this with a little bit of hand stitching. Let's begin, shall we? Guys, just so that we're all on the same page, we're basically gonna make a slit in the back and then add some cool, funky straps that we're gonna strap together. I'm gonna start with opening the seam from my neck, my back. <clears throat> Let's uh, not continue that. Using my seam ripper, okay, I'll admit, I was impatient and just ripped it open. Then I also opened the back seam of the lining. And this fabric you usually don't want to rip, because you'll probably rip open your seam allowance. Then we need something to make ribbon. Rip, rip, ribbons. If you want to go for the no sew project, I would buy a beautiful ribbon, shoelace, band, whatever comes to mind. I'm just gonna see if I can rip this skirt to shreds. <sighs> yes, might want to consider reinforcing the ribbons to make them a little more wow. However, I ain't got this reinforced stuff anymore. As for the width, I'm gonna fold my strap ribbon band thing. As if there is no tomorrow, take twice the desired width of the band and then add some seam allowance as well. If you're gonna rip like me, you might want to add just another centimeter just to be sure, which yours truly obviously did not do. Magic! Yes, it's a bunny. I know, it does not look like a bunny, but it is one. That's the trick, okay? <laughs> I recognize these sleeves on my daily paper jube tutorial. Ah, yeah. yeah, this top consisted of two parts and was really elegant. However, I was drying my washes here on my terrace the other day. I did not have a washing rack thing to hang everything, so I hang it over my fans. It was not dry in the evening. I left it overnight. I woke up. Magic! Half of my clothes were gone. Yeah. I'm gonna sew the strips together in the length. I'm gonna do a little test first with the magic stick. Six hours later. It's like when you rip, all these bands always get a little bit smaller because, you know, the ripping is kind of making it less wide in a way. So, uh, add this thing to. Turn it back inside out. Let's get my hand open. Aww. I'm gonna do these small ones. <laughs> I've ripped new ones that are a little bit wider. And I'm gonna search them together so that it's really well sewn together. Buy them in the shop, guys. That's my <laughs> recommendation for the day. Oh, oh, oh. I've sewn the strap. Now let's see if the magic stick can finally do it. It's magic without uh, me getting injured. Like, my life is not already tough enough. Oh, don't get too enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, no pun intended. Arctic is working. This is the weirdest combination when you just have this armpit kind of hole. But we know why, right? I told you my life is tough. It's tough AF. We go on bravely. You finally turn them all inside out. On the way, so the leaves from the trees. Let me go ahead and press, 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 baby. We want them to be flat as a 90s supermodel. Beautiful! Stunning! I'm gonna fold in the edges with my seam ripper. Ah, suddenly I found it. Close up with a little top stitch on one side. Does anyone have a hot tip for this? Because to be honest, my hands always get a little crooked like this. Obviously, except for us, nobody has to know, huh? Let me know in the comments, please. I'm gonna use my analytical, I don't wanna say genius, but oh well, now it's out there. Genius brain to decide where to place the bows, bows straps, laces, or to the right, to the right. 
take a look at my neck, my bag. Oh, can we cut this crap? I think the most important is that you don't have like a bow on the middle of your butt unless you really want a bow on your butt. Except for that. The lining had like a pleat in the middle back, which is kind of unfortunate and complicating things. And as always, the best way to deal with a complicated problem is just to chop it off and act like it never happened. In the neckline, I'm gonna still keep the pleat because I can't be bothered to open it. Instead of that, I'm gonna close the back seam for a few centimeters so that we can hide the pleat behind it. Then I'm gonna sew in the straps, stitching exactly on the one centimeter fold that's still in there. It is not straight the first time, just go over it the second time. I'm a real fashion wrecker, okay? Okay! I have six straps in. This is so easy. Oh, love this project, except for the straps. Well, except for that, everything looks smoothly. Because now, the only thing we have to do is attach the lining back to the jacket. And then! Fashion show! Just gonna make sure that the seam allowance of the jacket and the lining is folded in and pressed flat. This will make it a little easier to attach them together, at least in the way that I'm gonna do it. Now, the only thing we have to decide is how to close the lining with the jacket. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want, guys. You are a free human being. You can use fabric glue. I don't trust my fabric glue, but if you have a good one, why not? You can use fusible adhesive. Iron it on. You have these one centimeter wide strips of fusible adhesive that you can buy. Pin it together and do a top stitch. From a design point of view, that doesn't make sense to me because there's no top stitching in this blazer nowhere. <laughs> Make a long story short. I'm just pinning it together. Do it with a little hand stitch. Like this might be my Christmas outfit or New Year's. It's just so elegant. I'm not often wearing all black guys. I have this yellow, which makes it really pop and make the slit stand out more. Please let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And turn on the notifications because otherwise you won't see my new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.